Hey, this is your grandpa, Casey. I want to talk to you about saving some money with printing, especially today. The ink cartridges have gone insane. And as you know, most of the color print the printers seem to have a way of using up the ink before they actually ha have given you the full yield. Like, for instance, color printers are designed, whether you like it or not, that, if, that every time you print a black and white page, they use a little bit of the color ink. Why? They've got a black cartridge in there. They should be using just the color ink. This doesn't matter what brand you're using. They seem to all do it. Now, that what frustrated me really was because I'm trying to get scripts out. So I print a lot of black and white. And I need to get the printing done right there. And all of a sudden, I had been just printing scripts, just printing documents to, get, to prepare for a couple of videos. And the next thing you know, my color inkjet printer says it's out of color ink. Wait a minute, I just put a cartridge in there like a month ago and I have not even used color. So one of the reasons I, I'm making this video is to show you another alternative to this. And that is, if you're not doing a lot of printing, in fact, you're, you're a regular standard household, you can buy an inexpensive laser printer like the Canon Image Glass for less than $65. I purchased mine on sale on the Black Friday special for $45. It comes with a standard uh, starter cartridge with 600 prints, which is going to last me quite a bit of time. Or when I have to replace the cartridge, it's going to only, it's not going to cost me that much, and they're going to get 1,500 prints. That's a lot of printing. So right now, the way to do this is to do that. Let me talk about that. So these printers are relatively inexpensive. Like I said, $65. They're easy to maintain, easy to use, very simple to clear a jam. Uh, the only thing I don't like about them, of course, they do take a big fin print. They show you pictures of it that, hey, they don't take up a lot of space, but they do. And let's let me show you that. Now, taking this out of the box, <clears throat> you get a better look at it. Really simple. It's a very simple laser printer. I'm talking as a really, it's very simple. You're going to open the top panel, pull out all the packing material. One of them, of course, is for the cartridge. After removing some of the packing material, you're going to have to remove the, the actual laser cartridge. Once you've got that out, you're going to remove the cardboard insert. And over here, you have your in cartridge release. So you're going to need to release. I suggest that you make sure that the cartridge is upright when you pull this. This exposes the ink. And then you're going to remove your printer sensor. I think I showed you that. Be very careful when you're holding the cartridge. You have a drum here, and you want to keep that drum from being in contact with any surface. After you've removed all parts of the cartridge, Push it back in place, close your top panel, and remove any mother packing material. You'll notice that there's some in the front here for your feed wheels. Can you see that? There you go. And 
and the printer will sit like so with the paper tray in the in the front so you can get in easily to it we'll set that up I just want to show you the paper I had to get wrap some paper now what I you can use either 11, 8 by half by 11 8 half by 14 or if you're using in foreign country a3 or a4 now setting this up is not that hard it comes with if you're going to use Bluetooth it, it, it comes with a cable connect your to your printer and that is what you're going to need to do the initial setup you go right to the web page or use the CD download the drivers and follow the directions it will take you step by step one of the biggest reasons why this printer is returned is because during the setup process it's not very intuitive and it will tell you next do this and next do this and then it doesn't work and you don't know why and you've got to go back to the process of doing it again because sometimes for some reason this printer seems to have a hard time with its initial setup in fact all Canon printers seem to have a problem that I've noticed with initial setup once you've that done that done and just installed it done the drivers like that then you'll need to go to your control panel install the device it's not intuitive like I said and then once you've done that once you've added the printer and found it on, on your web page you'll be good to go and like I said, it works really, really nice. Very simple. As I said in the beginning, this is a, a short-term solution for when you are doing a lot of black and white printing, but you do, don't have a high volume and you're on a very limited budget. So what you can do instead is purchase a very inexpensive laser printer like this Canon, connect it, and then do most of your black and white printing on this, keeping your color printer off and then using the color printer when you really need to whether it be one with a scanner or without a scanner this is a budget friendly way of taking care of this situation now I'll leave you the link an Amazon link to uh, please use it that helps support the channel please give us a like that helps this logarithm of people find it please share this video this will help other people find this video and again don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel this is your grandpa KC. I'll be back with more product reviews in the future.